What's up, everybody? Today is the official reveal of Nostalgic's Cosmic Collision Day Zero Edition. This is the super small print run of the set ahead of our massive release on Kickstarter later this year. That will be launching very soon. Stay tuned. Discord.gg slash Nostalgic's TCG. But let's break open this first box ever in the world and take a look at what is in the set. What's to look forward to? Which cards are in there? Which rarities? It's it's a lot. So first off, we did swap the colors because space is mostly dark. And this set is based around space and spirits. So there we go. Perfection. Ta -da -da -da. I'm going to drop that down just a little bit. Give us just the top of uh, Hero Helper V's head right there. Now each box comes with 36 packs. We're going to start on the right side. Get these 18 and then we'll go to the left side. And I'll try to slow down a bit at first, but then as we start hitting repeats of cards, we'll start speeding it up. Um, you'll notice something a bit interesting with the set, specifically when it comes to the pull ratios and which cards are in each pack. So first off, we have the new entity cards. There's one of every single type. Got Gravity Shoes, Deep Meditation, all new cards in here. Game Over, Okaru, love in that frame break. And a Hero Helper V holographic hero card right off the bat that is gorgeous and this is the first box i've ever opened as well so this is all you know news to me i should mention this card you can play this hero after you've started the game so this goes in your deck and then you play it for four mana and it replaces your hero with this ability and we got a freya luki reverse foil classic vault you can tell it's a classic vault because at the bottom it says cv these are 10 cards from our previous sets that have been re-released with a nice reverse foil like shimmer to them. Kind of a star holographic. And these align really well with the set or even have cards that evolve from them in the set. And we got Rick. I need so many of these cards in my deck. I have a deck that runs entirely around this premise of like voiding cards from the game and bringing them back. Love that card. Goldilocks Zone and Pisces. What's fun enough is, I'm actually a Pisces, but on these cards, you can actually have a little horoscope. So on the bottom, let's zoom it in, get the horoscope of the day. If you're a Pisces, there's tension in the air, but there's little you can do about it. Fair. <laughs> All right, so we'll put our, our holographic cards aside. We've got one classic vault, one holographic hero. And we got one Rick. Honestly, if you, if you get this and you get Ricks, please trade me all of them. Ooh, we got Paradox. One of the coolest designs in this entire set. We got the Neutral Entity, Gravity Assist, Homing Beacon, Abducta, and the Atomic Frog Holographic. Dude, I'm so happy that we made Heroes Holographic in this set. This looks stunning. It's got Stella on the right side. Another hero you can pay the mana cost of and replace your hero. Then we got Aquarius, Ares, Grace of Nost, and Eclipse. And I'm just going to let you guys linger on what came out of that pack versus what came out of the pack previously. Think about that. Think about that for just a second. We'll, we'll continue. We got a Paradox, Prophesized Pain, Spiritile. Oh, we got Stella! So finally, the reveal of Stella. This is on the original pressure plate art back from base set, but Abducta is a species of alien that is like chasing the race of the Stella and trying to eradicate them. And Stella is actually the last one of its race, so keep it safe, keep it secret. We got the Dark Entity and Starfrog, our first frame break holographic fighter. This is the leader of Team Starfrog, our parody of Star Fox, of course. And he is... Oh, we got an upside down card! What? That's kind of cool, especially on like the first unboxing, you'll run into everything. Like honestly, I've, I've never opened this before. I'm here for the ride with you. The back's fine. <laughs> we got the Lucky Frog, Reverse Foil, Classic Vault. We got the Greatest Reset, Gamma Rays, and another Rick! Seriously, give me, all, give me all your ricks. I will take them. All right, so we've got five holographics, and what are we, like, four packs in? You guys picking up on what we're throwing down here? <laughs> we got the fire entity. Lucky Tadpole. Galacturtle. Okay, 
I'm gonna have to pause this for just the quickest of seconds. Ignore the falling noises you hear in the background. Okay, so I discovered something online a while ago when I was making this set, and I picked it up specifically because of this. This right here is the IRL inspiration for Galact Turtle. It is a turtle shell with a magnetic galaxy top and a head that engraved like six months ago. Galact Turtle. I believe it's from Secret Woods, if you guys want to look it up. Literally not sponsored. This is in the middle of our opening, <laughs> but Galact Turtle. That's where it came from. I love that thing. We have Underground Playground, the most important arena of the entire game. This changes the whole way Nostalgics plays, makes it very, very user-friendly, and changes the fighter interactions. Try this out. It's free. Literally. <laughs> we got Gato Gem. This card was actually referenced way, way back in the By Last Hero story. There's a cat made of gems on the beach that Meringue literally destroys. This is that cat. We got Bungie, the second member of Team Starfrog, literally riding that carrot rocket. Frame break all the way around. Super pretty star foil. We got Sword of Duality. Leo. Big Bang. And G Force. Nice. All right, opening. What is this art? Like fifth pack? Yeah, fifth pack. So many holographics. We haven't pulled a non holo yet. And that's because none of these packs contain a non holo. <laughs> they all have two different slots that could be holographic. And it can either be the classic vault or the hollow. There's a slight mix between there that's kind of proprietary. We did a bunch in one slot and a couple in the other. So you have about 50 percent chance of getting two holographics in a pack, 50% chance of only getting one, and of those like one hollow packs, you could have a pack with just a classic vault or just a normal hollow. So it's like 25, 25, 25, and then two of these for the last 25. Meteor Shower, Planetary Alignment, Field of Revealing Light. Hmm, what if that's a reference? Solar Flare, Mana Casino, and Sonar, okay, I'm not planning this, I swear to Nost. <laughs> we have another member of Starfrog, Sonara. This was literally my take on a hyper-intelligent dolphin. Um, I personally told the artist repeatedly, I was like, okay, that one episode of Spongebob with the crazy intelligent dolphin, make that. And that's what they gave me. And we got the Destructa Classic Vault card. You Destructa runners, there you go. There's your definitive copy of that card. Goldilocks Zone, Libra, the greatest reset. All right, pack six. Um, as far as the pack arts, maybe you've been picking them up. This one is Kraken Beard. Oh, no, I can't open it. This is uh, one of the heroes in the set. I am actually having a lot of trouble. There we go. It's Nakira's dad. So she's been searching for her father for a long time. He's this renowned pirate that went missing, and he's in the set. Balance. Bandicoon, Dead Blade, Change Fate. I almost wanted to call that Cosmic Collision because he says it on there. Dimensional Discord, very Pokemon esque looking artwork. Hero Helper V, we got our first repeat here. Satellite Sling. This card is essentially a land for magic. This gives you additional mana every turn you put it in play and essentially activate it. You know, whatever that motion is, you do that or you flip it upside down. You Whatever you want to do, you activate that card to get mana. Get Ares, Geiger Fluff, a little throwback to the alien designer himself. We referenced Geiger. <laughs> and we got Destructa. This is a different version. So, original version, second version. Abducta can evolve into either of these. They both have different attacks. Experiment. Let me know how it goes. All right. Six pack? I, I lost track. If this is not the six pack, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Third Eye. Kuma Grade. Cosmic Slam. Asteroid Belt. Galact Turtle again. I love that card. The Atomic Frog. We got him. And oh no, it's another upside down. Okay, if your classic vaults are upside down, you're welcome. They're just that surprising. <laughs> Gamma Rays. Cancer. Seriously, I. I uh, putting that card in here spooked me, because I'm like, okay, so you're going to destroy your opponent's hero with cancer? Great. But, thanks astrology. 
You know, you did it first. I'm, I'm just referencing what's already out there. And Oblivion. And I did not put that in the right spot. There we go. So, I am going to stop this box opening, on video at least, as of the first ultra rare hit. I'm, I'm saying that now. I might just commit and go full bore and open the entire thing. But right now I'm feeling like if we open it up to the first mega hit, then we're going to stop it. We'll see. We got Laika. Good dog, bad dog. Refracta. Okay. This was the reason we had to include the Classic Bolt. Because we had Refracta in here who evolves from Mirage. But we didn't have a Mirage in the set. So I was like, hold up. <laughs> we need to put some older cards back in here. So we can have things that evolve into this if somebody just buys Cosmic and wants to play. So there you go. Mirage now has an evolution. Colliding Dimensions. It's a really cool card. Leo. Reflective Panel. And Geiger Fluff. Did I forget another holographic? No. These cards just have so many frame breaks. It's like even the comments look good. It's hard to tell even as a creator. Like, did I forget something here? Cosmic Storm, Escape Pod, Magic Ball, Magical Telescope, Dark Entity, Kraken Beard. There he is. So this is Nakira's father, Kraken Beard. Um, always has an attack value equal to the number of fighters with taunt you control. Your move, deck builders. We got Sword of Duality, so no double hollow on this one. Eclipse. Take an additional turn after this one. On that turn, your current mana refills to half, rounded down. Pretty cool. Leo and Nemora. Hmm. Bit ominous, that one. In it. All right, let's crack this pack. We're about a fourth of the way through the box. This is fun already. I really, I'm really enjoying this. Like, seeing the classic vaults in person, just wait till you guys see an ultra rare. They're insane. Third Eye, Mugu. This one's going to catch you off guard. Remember how good Afri was? Still is, really. Mugu is going to be that again. Tomokai, game over. Balance. Rayla, the Empress of Kyrian. This is the most powerful and weak hero possible, in my opinion. So, seven mana. Once per turn, you may pay five hero health. Um... If you do, target a fighter and void it. Take normal prize counters. You better have some healing. And we got another one upside down. I love these, actually. The fact that it's upside down is kind of great. I hope a lot of them are like that. We have Nakira Murray. She's reunited once more with her father as a Classic Vault Hollow. I'd love to get all the heroes in Classic Vaults eventually. We do have 8-bit artwork for the entire base set, so it's possible. Eye for an eye. Kabu makes his official debut as his own card and Cloudy Dimensions. Originally, the Turnip card from base set was called Turnip and Kabu, but it was the only one that had the ampersand in it, and I was like, that's kind of weird. Or at least the only one that I could think of. So we decided, you know, don't make it look like a tag team. Put him in his own card, and yeah, Kabu is his own character. So the Turnip is really just the mech. Which is a bit confusing because, of course, we have the plushie and everybody's like, Oh, it's a turnip plushie. And now it's it's a Kabu plushie. Alright, so we have Temple of the Ancient Ways. This changes the game to be more like a Yu-Gi-Oh! foundation. So, during a player's turn, they may play any fighter from their hand by sacrificing a number of non-token fighters equal to the fighter's level and then paying its mana cost. Playing fighters in this way ignores evolutionary requirements. So what that means is, like, a level 1 fighter is just a basic fighter, right? No evolutions. A level 2 would be, like, the next level up, so maybe a jumbo card dragon. And then a level 3 would be a booster box dragon. Got it? So if you wanted a booster box dragon, you'd have to, you know, sacrifice 3 fighters, then pay his mana cost and get him out. So this makes it more of a Yu-Gi-Oh! evolutionary thing. Void Bartering. Astrological Assault. Mr. Bougie. <laughs> These names. This one was so much fun. I, I loved all the energy we put into designing this guy and coming up with this name. Like, it's perfect. The Water Entity. I don't know if we've seen him yet. And Yokaijin. Ooh. That is a, a deep-numbered holographic right there. Uh, may attack Stealth Fighters, which is from that underground playground. You can essentially stealth the fighter. And this is the only one in the game that can hit those. Which is pretty cool. 
And we did get the classic Vault Nakira. Heck yeah. Gamma Rays, Kabu, and the Realm Stitcher. Nice. All right, cracking the next pack. One thing I am noticing here as, you know, kind of the designer and guy who works behind the scenes on this all the time is there was kind of a pattern of cards printed in previous sets. You'd open a pack and they'd have, you know, like a similar order. I'm not noticing that here, which is really refreshing. I think the set number has to be within a certain range to make it not do that. And we seem to have hit that as far as I can tell so far. So Mr. Bougie, Astral Projection. The Light Entity, Underground Playground, Chakra Alignment. And we got Star Frog again. Here we go. Ah, oh, no Classic Vault. We did get Inversion Zone. That was kind of fun. If you want to read that, go for it. I'll pause it here. And we're off. Nemora and Gemini with Slurry. Ooh, we got both of the, the Medium Demons. So there are both of the final demon sisters. Previously, we had Lilith and Aphrath. In this one, we have Venath and Kitsaith. Both of those are the final demon sisters. There is also a demon mother, very reminiscent of storylines like, you know, Resident Evil Village, where you had the four, and then there was like that mother above them all. Very similar to that. So you'll see that here as well. Nebulam, deep meditation, wishing well, the Earth Entity, Okaryu, super cool spiritual fighter. Bungie, love to see it. And the Upside Down Lucky Frog. I Seriously, like if anybody complains about that, that's hilarious. I love finding cards upside down in packs. It just like catches me off guard. <laughs> we got Ferebus, the giant shadow furret controlling the Earth. Or in, or in this case, Nostra. And Clyden Dimensions. All right, we are approaching the halfway point. I have seen no ultra rares yet. There is one secret card in the set. Last time we did this, we actually pulled the secret card. So we'll see if it happens again. I'm kind of hoping not. I hope you guys are the first to pull it, but we'll see. Gravity Assist, Paradox, Neutral Entity, Sonara. I'm gonna have a Team Star Frog deck after this. Big Bang, Virgo, Goldilocks, and Tauros. Taurus? Tauros. Honestly, I've seen Pokemon so much, it's it's hard to tell if it's Tauros or Taurus anymore. We have Abducta. This is the new version of this. I don't know if we've pulled this previously, but this into Destructa, into Devasta is the new, like, three-part evolution. Very interesting update on these characters that you're all familiar with. Homing Beacon, Shadow of the Void. Soul Exchange, Spiritile, Super cute. Love that art by Siri. Refracta, yes. And the upside on Mirage, look at that. That is what it's all about. Mirage into Refracta. This, this pack is why we even have a classic vault. <laughs> we'll put those there. We got Pisces again. Reflective panel and Sage Swamp. Oh yeah. Discord's popping off. I showed them the, the case of Cosmic here, which maybe this is indicative of the entire set, but they sent the case differently. Like usually they were all kind of stacked this way. Nope, for this case, they're all stacked this way and it's like a longer box. I don't know. I don't really care either way, but it's interesting to see. Stella, Supernova, Mewgu, Lucky Shield, Yokaijin again, I'm loving that. Sagittarius, Gemini, Faribus and Scorpio. That's the first Scorpio. Also, I noticed in here we got Mugu and Yokara. These are both the lowest versions of the demons. So very, very interesting. Oops. I would say these packs are somewhere between Harmonic and First Edition in terms of how easy they are to open. So you shouldn't have any problem with that. We got Anti-Gravity, Nibla. <laughs> Little honorary member of Team Starfrog. Ally, the new friend. Love that. Of course, it plays off both of those. Prophesized Pain. Such a creepy art film. Ooh, we got Yugen. Yugen is the deepest holographic, bordering on a void rare. This is essentially the Majora's Mask and the Blood Moon combined into a character. Like, this is really, really cool. 
So it can't attack a hero directly, and it can't attack two turns in a row. But fully heal this fighter, oh my god. <laughs> Deal double the damage healed as damage to an opponent's fighter. So if you're going to take this guy out, you got to do it quickly or through other means. Because if you damage him, he's going to deal it right back. And we got the Abductor. I'm just going to say classic vaults should be upside down. They should be at all times. Forevermore. <laughs> Inversion Zone, greatest reset in Dark Offer. The last pack of the right side. I know, this is a crazy long video. I'm probably going to cut it into two and do the right half first and the left half in a second video. So this will be the last pack of this one. Bandicoon, Change Fate, Dead Blade, Cosmic Slam, Dimensional Discord, give us a void. Are you freaking kidding? <laughs> Atlas, the Demon Queen, Void Rare. So we did a cool new diagonal oil slick here. You can kind of see that. And the background texture, there we go. We did it based again on layers. So you can see the moon's got a circular one. Atlas has like a curved one. And then we have these stars and spaceships in the background. With like little wow, wow, wow. This is the Void Rare exclusive hero, Atlas the Demon Queen. She is the one above all the demons. And she has a really, really fun ability, especially if you get one of those demon sisters out. I'm gonna hover that one in the back here. That is a card worth pulling out. We'll finish it with Gemini, Inversion Zone. Big Bang, Dark Offer. How about that for Last Pack Magic? I will see you guys in the next one where we open up the final half of this booster box. If you want this, stay tuned. NostalgicsTCG.com or Discord.gg slash NostalgicsTCG. Zaba out.